guys, this is Cody Ryan. Welcome to When the Lights Go Out. Today we're going to be discussing bug out vehicles. There's thousands of options out there. Not all of them need to be as overt or maybe as extreme as this one, but I'm going to show you, take a walk around my rig, what works for me, and maybe you can get an idea or two. Come along with us. We're going to go over what's in the cockpit of the vehicle first. I keep everything in ram mounts. These are sturdy. This is what the police military use. On the left, I just have my iPhone in a RAM mount. Moving over, I have a compass. Direction self-explanatory. To the right of this, I have my ham radio. Frequency mode, please, two feet. This is how you keep in communication when you have other rigs behind you. Let them know you're stopping off for gas. To the right of that, my navigation. This is just an iPad on another RAM mount. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get all these. And then you just download the maps for your local area and it works offline with the GPS receiver. To the right of this, I have my Earthwell uh, cup, Expedition cup in a RAM mount cup holder. And then that keeps it from spilling all over the place. And then you can have a beverage on the road. Self rescue is important when planning a bug out vehicle. Uh, up here I have my Leatherman uh, multi-tool. It's a Raptor trauma shears. It's got um, a quick cutting hook, oxygen wrench, all that, but trauma shears are important. It's also got a glass breaker on it. If that is unaccessible to you in the event of a crash, I always keep one of these CRKTs. This is a, it's a self rescue tool, emergency escape tool. And then all this is, is one-handed operation. It's got a hook, cut the seat belt, this side, carbide glass breaker, watch your face, break the glass, then you can go ahead and exit the vehicle. On the right here, I keep my trauma kit easily accessible so that if your car's flipped over, you're not trying to climb in the back, trying to administer first aid to yourself or your passenger to the right of that I just keep my rain jacket same kind of thing you're running into uh, the grocery store and it starts to downpour you're not gonna get out of your vehicle to get your rain jacket keep it accessible if you have a passenger in here all I do is throw it to the back the reasons for exiting the vehicle especially in something like a Jeep would be for off-road use keeping accessible I have my winch cable that I'm gonna walk around I'll show you the winch you need this keep it accessible don't keep it in the back of the truck here keep gloves in the door so that you can use it with the winch cable that'll slice you up also keep dust masks in every single door as well as a flashlight here is my flashlight just a mag light This is my recovery winch. Can't tell you how many times I've had to use this. Always good to have on a vehicle. Good to have uh, some tow points on your vehicle as well. Extra lights for off-road use. I'll go ahead and show you that now. Here I just keep my blankets, smog, uh, it's just stuff I can stuff up there and get out of the way. Again, space is key in a bug out vehicle. These are charcoal, excuse me, charcoal bags and they do in fact purify the air. So I have a bunch of people that are in and out of this wet and muddy all the time and it always smells like mold and mildew in here. I've had these for about a week and it smells like absolutely nothing. They're good for 365 days. When you're done, you just cut the bag open and put it in your garden and that's good. Got my Yeti cooler, Tad Gear Edition. Trasheroo for your trash obviously, anything wet that you don't want in the Jeep itself. Climbing rope, Rotopax gas can. Moving on the inside, we have recovery gear right off the bat. 
this is instead of road flares it's bright at night but you can just stick it anywhere so that is safety on the roadside these are bolt cutters honestly i use them for um just around the jeep with various projects my version of diy is zip ties and bolt cutters but i was off roading in a very remote location and it started monsooning i had the top off and i needed to get somewhere in shelter fairly quickly because of the radio and all that didn't want to get it all wet um, there was a fence line that I needed to cut through and get the Jeep through, so these came in handy for that. Down, back behind it, is a table, multi-use. You need a lot of that with a bug out vehicle to save on space. This is my micro dive rig. Doesn't stay in there full time. Just got back from a trip. So we'll keep that here for now. This is my trauma bag. This is everything that has your airway. Uh, it's, I mean, any, anything you can imagine to minor surgery. It's a big bag. Glove dispenser. Here is tools for the Jeep. This is all my food. I have a little Scottle grill that I can cook on. Uh, below it is my I'm going out of the Jeep to go on a hike and I have a buddy with me that needs extra sleeping bags or a change of clothes for me. Every day kind of use things while on the trail. This is my rinse kit. What this does is it gives me portable water. Also potable water. So that I can rinse off my dive gear. If you're hiking, you got muddy boots. There you go, clean your dishes. All well and good. This is my towel, so you can, it's also my shower. This is 10 gallons of extra water, so I can refill or drink. This is my Helinox. This is a table. Like I said, space is valuable. Helinox chair, and just a secondary chair. Moving over to the right here is my solar system setup. This is my charge controller. Got a little backup light back here. This is my inverter. All my extra accessories to charge. Over here to the right, I have my bag dispensers for garbage, quick and easy. These are my binoculars for spotting and bird watching. This is my fire suppression side. This is a fire blanket. So if you're at a gas pump and someone starts themselves on fire, you can douse them with the blanket, then go to the trauma kit. Over here to the right, once you move these cans out of the way with water, this is where I sleep. This is a quick overnight kind of deal. You hit the trail early in the morning, get there late at night. So you have to spend a night out there. Uh, on the roof is my extended stay cabin, my little tree fort. That's a three-person tent, but that's that's a little bit longer of a setup. So that would be for like a three-day kind of setup or more. So this is the setup back here. Moving to the side of the Jeep, more climbing rope. Maybe I'll do a climbing video for you guys, teach you how to rappel. Might be cool. Uh, this is recovery gear, my shovel. This on the side, I have them on both sides. There are ladders so that you can get to the roof, which my solar panel is up here, as well as protected for uh, extra cargo storage. Up top here, I have max tracks, more recovery gear, wedge them under the tires, give you some traction. And that's it, this side of the Jeep's pretty bare. Now we're on the driver's side of the Jeep again. Jeep wave. If you don't wave, wave. This is my six by eight awning. Underneath, I have a felling ax hidden from plain view. And this.
tops down like so. This I use with uh, the solar panel charges my uh, projector screen. Set up two chairs right here with your nice hot date, cup of hot cocoa, and then you have your projector screen right here for off-grid camping. Then what this does is it has legs that pull out. Much easier with two people. This is a 2016 Jeep Wrangler, uh, four-door unlimited. It is um, just your stock run of the mill, other than absolutely everything else that's done to it. Uh, Gobi roof rack. This is a two and a half inch lift, suspension lift, 35 inch tires, 17 inch rims. Stubby antenna, doesn't get in the way. Solar panel, like said roof rack. Going around the back, American flag. Should come standard, doesn't. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. This has been Cody Ryan with When the Lights Go Out. I hope you had a few takeaways on something you can do with your vehicle to make it bug out ready. But this has been, like I said, my rig walk around. We'll have uh, probably some more in-depth reviews on maybe some of the gear that's in these boxes. We kind of ran out of time today. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and click the, uh, the bell somewhere up top there. And that'll uh, notify you when we come out with new uh, videos. We got a bunch of new content that we're gonna start crushing out here soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And then down below, we got some links to some of the things that you saw. They're uh, like Amazon affiliate links. So what that does is it helps us get out here and make videos like this for you guys. So uh, like, subscribe, share, and stay tuned for next week. And we'll have something, something cool for you. Thanks, you guys.